Moving on, Deputy President William Ruto has denounced alleged threats by proponents of the Building Bridges Initiative report directed at those who have raised issues touching on its contents. According to the DP, leaders must allow Kenyans to have a proper conversation on the document. The Deputy President, who was in central Kenya, insists that all sides must soften their stance in order to pave way for dialogue leading to a consensus instead of subjecting Kenyans to an expensive referendum. The Deputy President William Ruto has continued his tour of Mount Kenya with Nyeri and Thrakani, the counties hosting him on Sunday. Hey. He would attend a church service at Presbyterian Church of East Africa, PCEA, where he called on leaders to stop using BBI as an avenue to divide Kenyans and instead focus on uniting the country on the BBI issue. There is absolutely no reason why anybody would push this country to a divisive debate or to a contentious referendum. We can all agree it is not necessary unless there is another agenda beyond the Constitution. Ruto said politicians should allow Kenyans to vet the BBI document and identify proposals that were omitted by the steering committee during their public forums. According to the deputy president, it will be unfair if politicians ignore the proposals made by ordinary citizens aimed at addressing the social economic challenges they face. This referendum can cost us very little. We don't have to spend public resources in campaigning. We can agree through consensus so, are, so that there are no campaigns and we can go together. The deputy president warned that a section of leaders keen on misusing the BBI report to revive their dwindling political careers, want to force Kenyans to support the document in a hurry just because their issues have been well addressed in the document. I know that there are those who believe that they can use this to revive their fortunes for the future. We want to tell them there are other ways they can achieve that. They don't have to divide Kenyans. His sentiments were echoed by leaders who had accompanied him, who insist that Kenyans will only support the BBI report if it has robust proposals aimed at transforming their fortunes. A water letter guaranteed minimum return. Ya cash crop zetu. Sisi tutapiga BBI. Lazima mkulima mdogo ambiwe akipanda majani chai, akipanda kahawa, akipanda ndengu, referendum Ben Chumba, reporting for Channel 1 News.